So these little critters are remarkable for one thing. Their eyes were made from stone. And I don't just mean that they're currently made from stone. You know, like after fossilization, their eyes were made from stone when these creatures were alive, swimming on the ocean bottom some 400 million years ago. So ballpark numbers, there's been life on Earth for about four and a half billion years. Now, for the first four billion years or so of that, there really wasn't much in the way of life beyond single-celled organisms. Until about 500 million years ago, when boom, oxygen becomes present in the atmosphere and you get the Cambrian explosion. A whole host of multicellular life emerges. Amazing stuff. And out of the Cambrian explosion, which actually took us several million years, you know, a few thousand millennia. Anyway, one of the creatures that emerged from that was the trilobite. They were some of the first creatures to have sophisticated eyes. That is, these eyes were actually some of the first ever to look on planet Earth and see what it actually looked like. Now, the trilobite was one of the most successful creatures ever to inhabit the Earth. Indeed, they hung around for about 250 million years. Now, humans, for comparison, if you're generous, have been around for about 2 million years, and modern humans only about 1 20th of a million years. So that was 200 million years of stone eyes. Now, trilobites showed a huge number of species across the planet, and thanks to them having hard shells that fossilized well, there's an awful lot of trilobite fossils that show some remarkable detail. It also means there are some amazingly preserved fossils of trilobites, like these guys, which I got on eBay for about 50 bucks a piece. Now, these are from a strata of rock in Morocco that's about 400 million years old, which means that the last time that living creatures looked out from these eyes was a long, long time before you or I were born. And it also got me thinking that, you know, maybe if I'm going to do a crowdfunder for anything, it'll be to get my body fossilized preferably after I die, just because it might be interesting for things in 400 million years' time to look on a well-preserved fossil of a human. Now, some of the trilobite eyes are amazingly well-preserved, like these. Now, what's truly remarkable about them is that when these critters were alive, the lenses were actually made from stone. Calcium carbonate, to be exact. Calcite. Now, obviously, if your lens is made from stone, the lens can't change shape. So you can't change focus. But there's bigger problems than that. Calcium carbonate is bifringent, which basically means if you get a crystal of the stuff and you have light going through it, it gives two images. Unless you look down one specific axis of the crystal, then you only get one image. But if you drift off that axis, you get two images. The practical upshot is that these lenses were only any good if they were looking straight forwards down an axis of the crystal. And if anything drifted off axis, it would give two images, which basically meant that these eyes were only any good for looking straight forwards. And if you wanted to look in every direction, then you had to have eyes pointing in every direction. Now, there's a whole host of literature that debates whether the shape of the calcium carbonate lenses was more to correct for sort of spherical aberration or if it was more a bifocal lens that gave better depth of focus. And with the exception of the creationists, of course, who think that God designed the trilobites with these eyes made out of this bifringent material. Also, they could go extinct before a human ever laid foot on the planet. <laughs> Yet, there's curiously not a single strata of rock in the entire world that has trilobite and human fossils in it. Which is not entirely unsurprising. Trilobites died out some 200 million years before man came on the scene. Anyway, the one thing that almost everyone seems to agree on is that for an awful long time, it was thought that calcium carbonate lenses died out with creatures like the trilobite and that there were no forms of the calcite eye in the world today. Until people started noticing that brittle stars seemed to be able to see what the hell was going on, even though there were no apparent eyes. And then they realized that their entire skin was actually covered with tiny calcite eyes. But there's another reason why these trilobite eyes are kind of cool, in that they're a close-packed sphere structure. That is, basically, if you want to cram the most number of spheres into as small an area as possible, you basically need this structure with one sphere surrounded by six more. And it's a pattern you see throughout nature in things like crystal structures. 
But maybe one of the easiest ways to visualize it is just with these little magnets, where if you actually line them all up, you get a close packed structure. And there it is, some 400 million years ago in a trilobite eye. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to leave some feedback, I'd be delighted to hear it. And if you really, really like this stuff and want to support this channel, you can do it through the links below.